Hello and thanks for watching my video. Today we're going to take a look at Cisco UCS integrated with Microsoft System Center Operations Manager with Management Pack 3.01 from Cisco for UCS. Uh, as we can see here, I'm looking at the state view for my UCS platform emulator. We show that my system is currently running healthy. Um, how I've got the system set right now is to show me just alarms that are critical or major alarms and as we can see I'm not getting any of those in the system. Uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, show you how an alarm will show up and how we can work with alarms with this management pack. So I've got a little PowerShell script that I put together that will inject a synthetic alarm into my platform emulator. So I'm going to go ahead and execute that and while it's running we'll go back and take a look at uh, first let's take a look at what we've got inside our UCS now there we go the alarm has shown up and now we'll go ahead and look at our operations manager we also see the alarm has shown up here so if we take a look at this alarm uh, it gives us a little bit of information right on the main screen but let's go ahead and select the alarm itself uh, we get more data including the fault code from Cisco UCS and what's going on but we can get better data if we select our properties and go to our product knowledge from here on our product knowledge we see the fault code the possible problems but more importantly the resolution so this information has been provided in the management pack if we go back over to my script we'll turn off this alarm and re-execute. If we look at our UCS manager, we should see that alarm clear here. And we go back and look at our operations manager. We see the alarm has cleared. The system has gone back to a healthy state. So uh, next let's, uh, let's look at something like a diagram in my lab UCS system. So I'm going to pull up a diagram of our environment. And if you've looked at my video previously for the Management Pack 2.62, uh, we have the ability to go in here and look at individual components, get our graphics, and drill down and look at the individual part numbers and components and such that are in the system. And really not much has changed uh, from this view on the hardware. Um, so if I say go over here and look at my blades. We see some various blades in here, and if I select a blade, I can get data about that blade. This is a B200M3. I can drill in and look at the interface card. I see that this is our MLOM 40 gig, which is our VIC 1240 adapter, and how it's connected and what it's connected to. But things that have changed in the management pack for 301 is really around logical configuration. So if we come over here and open up our logical configuration, for our root organization and we drill in here on healthy components we've got a few different things that we can look at here that were not in the previous two dot release of our management pack uh, I can look at firmware components I can also look at information around pools which is new and then we have what we had previously which was service profiles um, let's just briefly go in here and look at something like our Mac pools drill in on all those Mac pools they're all healthy and let's open the Mac pools up here. I have quite a few because in my lab environment I have quite a few NICs and I give them unique uh, Mac pools for each NIC. So if I were to drill in here, say to my iSCSI A pool, uh, some information I get right off the bat here is the pool size is 256 and 10 of those have been used for my iSCSI A. Now the same type of information that I'm drilling into from a graphical view, uh, I can also get to, for example, from my logical diagram. Let's open this up and take a look that I could look at say my Mac pools here and I can see all the various Mac pools we were looking at the iSCSI A and again we see the pool size how many are used and then how they're they're fed out uh, I can also do other things from here for example I can go in and drill in and look at things like uh, uh, physical or hardware devices so let's take a look at some of my hardware so we'll come up here and look at our hardware view. Let's for example open up chassis, let's go to our blades, and let's take a look at the various blades that I have. So we see that I've got these blades in the system, and you'll notice that by selecting one of these blades, I now have the ability to launch 
a KVM to gain access to that blade. If we go back to my primary state view, looking at, uh, at the system here, we see Joe's lab here, and then we get some tasks that we can do for this system. So I can force uh, discovery, fault, and inventory collection to occur uh, ahead of normal schedule. Uh, I can ping continuously or just do a series of five pings to my UCS to make sure that there's reachability. But I can also go in here and launch my UCS GUI um, so I can work on looking at faults maybe directly in the UCS manager and see what's going on in correlation to what's showing up in the management pack. Uh, I can go over here to my authoring tab and we see the instances of my two UCS systems that I have in the lab from my various management packs. So I see my UCS computing systems here. And I have the ability to go in and select objects and I can adjust values. So I can control uh, what is being discovered. So if I don't have, for example, any rack servers in my environment, you know, why have it go search for rack servers? Uh, I can adjust things like, uh, do I provide um, that CMOS alarm that I demonstrated earlier, is that considered a major alarm or is that a warning? And so I can adjust using overrides to set those various values. So hopefully uh, you've seen some new capabilities in Management Pack 301. I hope you enjoy the videos. Uh, come back and look for more soon. And thanks for watching.